Ihr könnt alle bestimmt den erfolgreichen Entrepreneurs-Youtuber Mr. Beast. Und Mr. Beast hat eine Studiotour gegeben und sein ganzes Imperium quasi gezeigt. Und das wollte ich schon seit längerem gucken. Aber ich habe es für euch aufgehoben, dass wir gemeinsam unsere First Reaction haben. Somit können wir gemeinsam uns an dieser Unterhaltung ergötzen. This is Mr. Beast and he has just invited me to his top secret YouTube warehouse. Well actually we're currently inside of it and I want to show you guys around. Ich muss jetzt schon sagen, wirklich Mr. Beast ist ein Macher. Mr. Beast Macher, ehrlich. So he can get views. <laughs> we're going to show you where his videos are filmed, how his videos are edited and then finally how much a ridiculous setup like this actually costs. And I'm a little Junge, ihr müsst euch auch vorstellen, der Typ hat damals mit Content angefangen, wie dass er 100.000 Mal den Namen von zum Beispiel PewDiePie sagt oder so. Hä? Wo er jetzt steht, Bruder, das ist krank. Das ist krank. Er hat 100 Millionen Abonnenten. Habt ihr das gesehen? A little scared because I've never shown anyone around this studio. This is gonna be a first time. This is gonna be cool. Come. In here is around 50,000 square feet. There's no poles or anything, so we can just build sets, we can do whatever we want. Do you know what's blowing my mind? This is not what I associate with YouTube. Junge, das ist einfach sein Drehstudio. Walla, eine Big Halle. Junge, da könnte ganzes McFit Studio drin sein. Ich küsse eure Herzen. You know what's funny? That's literally what everyone says when they come in here. They're like, for YouTube? One thing I noticed immediately when I walked in is like, you clap, you hear nothing back. Yeah. Except these guys in the background. Ich in diesen 10, 8 Quadratmeter Raum sogar Soundprobleme. Yeah, they're working on a video. <laughs> That's exactly right. So we soundproof the ceiling. On top of that, uh, you'll probably notice Whoa. there's hundreds of sprinklers on the ceiling. Do you have sprinklers because you keep blowing stuff up in? Schon jetzt ein Wert von 375.000 Dollar. What the f Yeah, exactly. No, you could blow up a car there and not have to worry about burning them in the building. That's a rare use case scenario. Mm. <laughs> oh. In one of our coming up video, we need a million dollars. These are empty. Don't try to rob me right now. So we're putting $10,000 in 100 briefcases. Is there a reason you... Hey, wisst ihr noch dieses eine Video? Die Wahrheit hinter Mr. Beast. Und da er erzählt einfach, ja, in dem Koffer ist gar kein echtes Geld. Da ist Papiergeld. Aber am Ende, die Leute werden immer mit Check bezahlt. Hä? Was juckt mich das, wenn ich das Geld kriege? Bro, da ist doch nichts Fake dran. On this particular model of briefcase. Does this just not look like $10,000? I don't know, it could be maybe more golden. <laughs> okay, time to ask Jimmy the big question. Android or iPhone? Obviously iPhone. Steve yeah. Jobs. Steve Jobs. Boah, Chat, wirklich, lasst uns auch hier eine Umfrage starten. Android oder Apple? Oh mein Gott, Apple, 63%, Android, 37%. Android 144p Frontkamera, ich bitte dich, ja, Apple ist und bleibt die eins. <lacht> Jungs, hört auf euch zu beefen. Die Oma sagt nein zu Fitna. Name the person who created Android. Andy Rubin. Okay, well, I didn't know that. We'll keep a tally. <lacht> ich schwöre, ich kann auch kein Andy Rubin. Of every single person we meet in this tour. This right here is one of our coming up videos. The beauty of having all this space is our old warehouse was basically the size of this room. This room feels like there was some havoc. Yeah, there's present. a lot of havoc. It's just like random broken bits of tech and eggs. Yeah, so you should remember that if you show anything bad. Oh, I'm gonna get egged. That was a threat. Oh, you're gonna break <laughs> tech in front of me. Yeah, 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 I will. This was our little hub over here. Oh my God, what the hell? Stellt euch vor, wie teuer alleine das ist. Wie viele Monitore sind das? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 kleine Monitore und 1, 2, 3, 4 große Monitore. Was? Here that you would have thought was baller. So this is what it looks like when we were filming. So you could see all Krank. the girls' cameras there, all the boys' cameras there. So we could constantly monitor it. This is the kind of stuff we don't normally show. We had to have six or seven people here monitoring every angle because if they just touch the red line, they're out. You have to basically set up like 40 cameras so you can monitor every single inch of the line, yeah. what they're doing on top of content, and there's two of them. It's a role you don't think about. Yeah. What did you do today? I stared at girls for 100 hours. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, uh, you might want to rephrase. Yeah. Okay. I stared at a red line for 100 hours. <laughs> Someone's getting a little edgy over here. <laughs> <lacht> das war ein bisschen unangenehm. Was hast du letztes getan? Ich habe 100 Stunden lang irgendwelche Frauen beobachtet. Sass. Ja, yeah, und on top of that, you can zoom in as well. So we have tons of shots, but just zooming into their mouths or whatever while they're eating food. Oh my god, like what kind of zoom level? Do you want to go to the camera room? Yeah. <lacht> James, he's curious. Do you use iPhone or Android? Oh, 2 to 0. 2 0. Steve Jobs. Rapid ich glaube generell in USA ist das krass mit Apple, gell? Apple ist quasi so Master Race sein Vater dort. Around the studio is tons of office space, multiple floors. You'll just see like these are some people planning our next video. Is that room called boobs? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. All right, so this is the camera room, by the way. Sass Nummer 2? Yes. Some videos we use 100 cameras, some videos we use 10, some we need to be able to zoom in 100x, some we need 100 vlog cameras for hide and seek. There's a lot of weird things in here. You want to summon Tariq? I summon him. You summon him. 
Hey, what's up? <laughs> Cringe the mind. <laughs> this transition is gonna suck. This is Tariq, he's head of camera. Hello. He's gonna show us what's going on here. I've never seen so much camera gear in my entire life. We have 26 FS5s. These are the time- 26! Time lapse cameras that you guys see. So every time you see a time lapse shot, this camera is usually hanging somewhere. Junge, guckt wie viel Equipment da ist, wie viel Objektive da sind. Ich glaube, manche Leute wissen gar nicht, wie sch teuer Objektive sind. Es gibt Objektive, die kosten 2 3000 Euro. On set, capturing it. Okay, what? Just to give you guys an idea, the FS5 is a $6,000 camera. Diese eine Kamera kostet 6000 Dollar und der hat 26 von denen. When it was launched in 2015, these guys have 26 of them. 5K With times the 26. Yeah. Do the math in it. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's the 755,000 dollars. That was a lot. <laughs> and then you've got loads of the same lens. So the way it works is every single camera lens has a focal length, which basically just indicates how zoomed in it is. Our videos relative to these are yeah. very homegrown. We film most of them in my bedroom. The widest angle we have is like 24 mil, and the most telescopic one we have is like a 55 mil. But these guys, when they go wide, they go wide. This is a 10 millimeter lens, which is used to capture the entirety of a massive heftig, video set in one heftig. shot. Heftig, heftig. It's aber auch klug gemacht, weil da machen so viele Leute mit und damit alles wirklich auch gut aufs Bild passt in einer guten Qualität ist ja sowas wichtig. And then when they want to get close-ups from further away, they have a lens here capable of not 50 millimeters or 80 millimeters, but 300 millimeters. This is a telescope, but there's three more key cameras that the Mr. Beast team uses. The first being the Sony 4K camcorder. So we usually use the for run and gun videos slash when we have a lot of nighttime shots. And that's because Ey, letztens, ich wollte mir einen Camcorder für meine YouTube-Videos holen, gell? So ein Ding. Aber dann, ich habe mich doch dagegen entschieden. Das Ding ist halt, ich mochte diesen Steady Shot, weil das Bild wackelt nicht. Also, ich glaube, es ist eh dieselbe Kamera. Und das Bild wackelt halt nicht. Deswegen fand ich das so todesnice, weil ich mag diese Stabilisierung. Aber dann habe ich sie doch nicht geholt, weil die Qualität hat mir nicht so gefallen. Das Ding ist halt, bei Kameras, du kannst irgendwie nie alles haben. Also, es gibt nicht so diese perfekte Kamera, leider. Night Vision, but also just insane optical image stabilization. Look how much the lens moves. Look, seht ihr das? Guck mal bitte, wie cool. Genau diese hier wollte ich holen. Night vision, but also just insane Look. optical image stabilization. Look how much the lens moves on the inside. And then to stop. Bro, egal wie du wackelst, egal wie du rennst, diese Linse bleibt quasi ruhig. Put all off. There's about 50 GoPro cameras in these boxes here. And another 50 of what are... 50 sh** GoPros. Are effectively super high-end security cameras, each capable of streaming a live view of their feed, so that people in that control center can keep an eye on the video contestants in real time. Oh, and also they have 20 times optical zoom. And then the piece de resistance. This is an FPV drone. That looks like you've you've made it. We have an FPV pilot. You built this. He built it. Yeah. That's actually wild. That something that someone has built themselves yeah. is. The Junge, die bauen einfach selber Drohnen. Was ist Big part of your filming gear. I'm putting you on the spot here. All right. Can you guess the total value of tech in this room? I'm about to be so wrong. 1.3 million. <laughs> Three. It's been great. Thank you so much. 1,925 million dollar. Man. Oh, and the thank God. And we're just at five minutes in the video. God, I'm back. Tariq sucks. I won't leave again. I kind of missed you, Jimmy. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're missing a lot of our play buttons. We do our videos in tons of languages. This is just our English channels. This is Mr. B6000. Oh so my god. Das sind seine play buttons. Nur von seinen englischen Kanälen. Und er hat international ja in vielen Sprachen noch andere Kanäle und andere Auszeichnungen in play buttons bekommen. Walla wirklich. Mascha Allah an der Stelle. Aber er ist Macher. Er ist Macher. In between 100k and a million apparently. <laughs> but anyways, this is missing a lot. Don't look at it. It's ugly. Do you have iPhone or Android? I do. Which well, I have Android. Oh, you use Android. Android. The first Android punk. Oh wait, so that's one for Android. One for Android. Oh. You use iPhone. I just play both. Sorry. Well, I guess oh. a point for both. Yeah. It's 2022, and if you're still buying whiteboards, you are an idiot. There's a thing called whiteboard paint. You can just draw wherever. It doesn't matter. It comes off. So for us, any note that we make, we make it a thing to keep it digital. You want yeah. to keep it online so that anyone can kind of log in and check it. Do you guys not care about that? No, no. We're... Hey, warte, ich check's erst jetzt. Der ganze Raum besteht aus einer Wand, die du mit diesen whiteboard Dings bezeichnen und löschen kannst. Wie weird. Ich wusste gar nicht, dass sowas geht. Oh, I grab a water. No. He took it anyways. <laughs> this is an enormous screen. When we got this place, someone was like, yeah, we got free TVs. And that was all I was told. I don't even... So Sony, is, uh, shout out to Sony. Get your marketing budget on this. Chef, du hast gerade random was im Kopf und du zeichnest das einfach auf die Wand. It turns out, Jimmy's free TVs that you find all around this building, they're actually Sony's new 85-inch 8K HDR smart TVs. And they're being used to watch 1080p content. Fantastic. Very comfortable. 
That's an iPad holder. Yeah, but does anyone actually use this? You tell me. <laughs> and while he's getting comfortable, we're gonna continue the tour. We don't need him. What is this for? Like in the middle of a meeting, is someone just gonna be like, sorry guys. Hey, we're doing a, a tour, if okay. you don't mind. <laughs> Wait. It's too comfortable. <laughs> Cringy gets vision Tina. Oh, no, it doesn't work. I can't get in. Were you struggling to get inside that room? All you gotta do is just that. It picks up the Bluetooth on my phone and it recognizes it's me, so I can unlock the door. Oha, diese Sicherheit 5.0. Tut mir leid, dass ich geboren wurde. Er hat noch Iris-Scanner und so wahrscheinlich. <laughs> so yeah, this is my little apartment. This is where I live for the most part. So you actually sleep in your office? Of course. This is my bed. It looks like my girlfriend left me a message. Yes, if you want to sleep in my bed, I won't stop you. Hey, aber voll der bodenständige Raum. Wirklich auf süß. Auf minimalistisch. This is nice. Okay, so in Jimmy's fridge. Yogurt and water. <laughs> what? We're potentially launching our own sauce. Red Bull Shaker Shish. Wichtig, friends. Vergiss nicht. That's cheeseburger. Blur what's on it so they don't get the ingredients. The only thing you have to eat them with is yogurt. The worst part of my tiny apartment is uh, the fridge blocks the TV. I'm running out of room. I miss that. This is an enormous screen. But it's above the couch, so I don't... <laughs> <laughs> These are all my clothes over here. Bathroom talk? Oh, really? Even my bathroom's not off limits? <laughs> Bro, really? We're about to just film in the bathroom together? So, this is. Sein Klo hat sich selber geöffnet. My bathroom's not off limits? <laughs> Bro, really, we're about to just film in the bathroom? Plus? So, this is a heated toilet seat. I'm telling you, it will change your life. Get a heated toilet seat. It will make your butt feel great. Er hat einen beheizten Toilettensitz. Josh? Yeah? He's getting B-roll of my toilet. Yeah. This is kind of my morning routine. I get out of bed, I walk over here, work out, and then I walk over here, I shower. I have a bit of bank drücken morgens, oh süß. And I walk over here, I change, and then I walk over here and I eat. It's like a little morning circuit, and then I walk out there and I work. And right over here, is one of the cool rooms. We also have- Junge, wie groß ist das? Wie viele Räume und Sachen hat er schon gezeigt? A gaming channel and a React channel, which we film in here. iPhone or Android? On three, hold up what phone you use. Oh God. Three. Uh, Wait, you have two? You have, what? They're both iPhones. Let's go, Never mind. good. <laughs> Anyways, we're actually- Das sieht aber nicht Here to show the React set. So come on in over here. So this is where we film all our React videos. Let's react to some tech content. Let's see it. You gotta see. Wieso liegt da hinten so, wieso liegt da hinten so random Geld bei den Reactions? Ich meine, stell euch vor, ich reagiere auf irgendwas. Da liegt so ein Koffer mit Batzen Geld. <laughs> react to some tech content. Let's see it. You gotta see the best tech video of all time. Wait, is this Why a 360 like camera? That? What the hell? Wait. Josh, what's going on here? Can we go to video two? No. It just looks like it was rendered weird. Was this supposed to happen or not? What is going on? Is that your cat's bum? That's Milo. Nice to meet you, Milo's bum. <laughs> Oh, I know this video. This is one of my favorite visions of the future. These calendars here. Oh my gosh, and you can walk up to it like that, so it knows what part of the room you're in. I love this idea. This. Würdet ihr das cool finden, wenn man so quasi eine Brille hätte, mit dem du so ein Display vor deinem Gesicht hast, was du kontrollieren kannst so? Findet ihr das cool? Würdet ihr euch das holen? Digital overlay on the real world. I do too. Honestly, I'm kind of pissed off. We don't already have this. Could you? See das ist schon drip. Ich weiß aber nicht, ob es dich so zu krass teilweise ablenken würde. See yourself using like all this kind of stuff. One 100%. I mean, I don't know how to ride a bike, so not this. <laughs> I'm just thinking about- I have an Iron Man, you know. About like Pokemon Go too. Oh, oh all right, now we're on to our next clip with Tesla. There's no Elon, I'm disliking. <laughs> this is some very brave piloting, yeah. yeah what oh the hell? my gosh. Isn't a Tesla the safest car ever made in history? Do you remember it? Er kennt ihr dieses eine Video, wo irgendwie Elon Musk in einem Interview ist und dieser Interviewer, er sagt ihm, irgendein Astronaut ist so einer auf den enttäuscht von ihm und wie er das findet. Und dann Elon Musk wird so voll, voll halt emotional und er sagt ihm, ja, ich finde das eigentlich sehr, sehr traurig, weil eigentlich mein Antrieb und meine Motivation, wieso ich mit diesen ganzen Weltraumforschungen und so angefangen habe, der, der Grund dafür war halt er, hat er gesagt. Nur das war schon, das war schon sad. Das hat mir so Anime-Vibes gegeben. Survived the crash test and actually broke the crash test, dummy. Do you see Teslas as like an art form? I just like obviously that they don't run on fossil fuels faster than other cars. It has more like amenities, but I don't really use any of that. The biggest pull to me for a Tesla is the interior. Like you sit down, you feel like you're being. Of course, after. if you're a car guy, I'm yeah. just not. Who's Have this guy? Oh, this I need. Yeah, that looks very cool. Actually, you like sushi, right? I do. That's ehrlich aber cool gewesen das mit dem sushi. No. Screw this Rick Roll. I don't care. That was actually genius. I'm calling someone to order him. I know you were trying to prank us, but I don't care. <laughs> Wait. I'm buying him. Hey, I need some... Uh... Oh, the jokes are so scripted. Can that be? Ach du Scheiße.
Auto stick chopsticks, love you. You don't probably get much experience with Android phones. Never. This is the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. One of its big selling points is the fact that it has the biggest camera sensor in a phone. Wow, this is cool. Yeah, this is crazy. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the coloring's good. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look like a wallpaper. I can't say it's better, but I can tell you it's not worse. Das ist echt ein krasses Handy. By the way, fun fact: Leute denken immer, Xiaomi macht so richtig sch. Handys, aber wirklich in letzter Zeit Xiaomi produziert kranke Phones. Walla, real talk. Junge, dieses Handy zum Beispiel, was er da gezeigt hat und ich check viel ab, was halt neu, so technologisch gesehen, Smartphone technisch, auf den Markt kommt und das ist ein heftiges Handy. Interesting take, because normally iPhone users just kind of shut down Android phones. And for coming out to Beast React Studio, you get a giant wad of money. Here you go. Thanks for coming out. All right, let's Correct. continue the tour. Android or iPhone? Android. Yes. Two more Android points. I hate you guys. And this room over here, I think you guys will enjoy. So it's top secret, but I'll let you in. Right in the back corner of the nice building. Of all the rooms in the building, I feel like you would appreciate this the most. All right, so this is the Mr. Beast server room. The way these guys have set it up is that all the projects that they're ever working on are stored right here on site in this server, which means that every single computer in this entire complex is accessing the same set of files at the same time. But the cherry on top. Wie scheiße cool ist das? Er hat ein Raum, wo ein Mutterserver verbunden ist und die ganzen so kleinen Bienen beziehen von der Bienenkönigin die Daten und schneiden an der und so. Hä? Is that it's configured so that Und die können alle gleichzeitig quasi darauf zugreifen. Even if you're sitting on the other side of the world, you can actually remotely log in and access the editing machines here to use them to edit footage that's stored right here in this server. So how much storage would you say you have in this room? Infinite. <laughs> what do you think the total Trunk. cost of this room is? For it's about ziemlich laut der Raum. 400 grand? Do you use Android or iPhone? You play chess? I do play chess. Want to give a chess? Now, over the few days that I spent with Jimmy, the one key thing that I've learned about this guy is he takes board games seriously. He absolutely. Hey, gibt es hier wirklich Leute, die Schach spielen können? Weil das fasziniert mich immer so. Wallahi, ich denke mir so, wie kannst du wissen, welche Figur sich wohin bewegen kann? Ich merke mir das niemals. Niemals merke ich mir das. What the fuck? Pained me in a game of Catan the night before. Chess was my way of making sure I won one back. Ja, ich, ich, ja, nein, yes. Also wirklich Respekt. All right, so this is the editing room. And I had two things that I wanted to find out here. One, how fast is Mr. Beast Internet? Guck, sein Download ist 600 Mbit. Mein Download hier in Istanbul ist 500 Mbit, sagt Mashallah. Vergiss nicht, kein Auge machen, Friends, auch ungewollt nicht. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> what? Upload 950 und er flex damit krass, gell? Und voila, billa, wir können hier in Istanbul, wenn es rein theoretisch gesehen möglich war, ist leider in der Adresse nicht möglich, aber du hast hier die Möglichkeit, mit Gigafiber 1000 Mbit Upload zu kriegen. 1000 Mbit. So wie Mr. Beast. What? How? And two, if these guys have any special... Ich weiß nicht, bei wem war das? Ich glaube, Türknet? Türknet war das, glaube ich. ...gear to edit with. Yeah, they kind of do. The editors who prefer Windows, they're each using $19,000 HP workstations with 24 cores... $19,000 costed their sh** überteuerte PC. ...processors and 256 gigabytes of RAM. And for those who prefer Mac, a pretty equivalently spec 21,000... 22,000 diese Apple Produkte bei Gott, die sind. Ihr kennt mir nicht, erzähl mir, dass die überteuert ist. 1000 Dollar Mac Pro. Wait, that's how much they cost? Yeah, Jimmy didn't know how much they cost. Feels like we've been in a lot of rooms, but this is only part of it. There are so many rooms in this building and it's so massive. That's what I love about it. I feel like I'm getting my steps in. And over here is the little kitchen. There's festival bars over here. You should be eating these. It's a very. Hey, habt ihr eigentlich mitbekommen? Er hat seine eigene Schokolade rausgebracht. Schokolade! Schokolade. You've never seen unicorn magic honeydew soda? It was in there because it was a punishment for a video. We don't obviously drink. Ich habe irgendwie gelernt, alle Getränke, wo gefühlt Einhorn drauf steht, sind wirklich Abstand. Außer es gibt so eine Capri, so eine Drachen Einhorn Dings Edition. Bei Gott, die bockt sich. Ist vielleicht sass, die draußen zu trinken als so Adamsin, aber wirklich die ist nice. Drink this. It's actually really nice. Yeah. So much sugar that I'm literally tearing up. So I have an editing question for you, actually. You've got the most ridiculous camera gear available to you. You've got 300 cameras in some videos. You just upgraded your cameras, actually, to new ones that can shoot 8K resolution. Which I never will, because I think it looks too professional. Yeah, so this is the question. Why is it that after all that, you still export in 1080p? I don't like the way high-quality footage looks. You know, at the end of the day, it's just me and the boys messing around. 
Ja, ich muss auch sagen, ich finde diese 4K-Funktion wirklich, ich glaube, er hat sie jetzt sogar eingestellt, ich finde diese 4K-Funktion unnötig. Weil meistens, du stellst das irgendwie ein und dann spinnt es irgendwie am Handy rum oder laggt und am PC spinnt es und was weiß ich was. Ich bin so ein Typ, egal was das Video anbietet, ich gucke immer auf 1080p, immer. Und damit habe ich auch mehr so diesen YouTube-Vibe. Also, ich verstehe, was er meint. You know, we still come up with the videos. It's still things that I find fun and I enjoy and I don't ever want things to feel too produced. Why, do you do 8K? We do 4K. To some extent, in the tech genre, there's like an expectation that you have good production value. Of course. If I can't take good footage, who am I to judge other phones for how good they is can take footage? Is this in 4K? Footage? This is in 4K. Okay, but there's a twist here. You've come here thinking that Jimmy has just one studio. He actually has two. We've just seen what they call Studio C. Okay, and this is Studio A. We have no Studio C gesehen. Heißt, er hat doch Studio A und B? Hä? This is where it all began. This is also where I've heard a lot of Mr. Beast's secrets are. And this is Walt. Hi, I'm Walt. I'm the head of on-site production for Mr. Beast Gaming and Mr. Beast Reacts. There's a whole bunch of lights here. Yep. What light? Junge, der Mr. Beast Gaming Kanal hat einfach fast 30 Millionen Abos. Was zur Hölle? Der Typ hat sich echt was auf. Lights does Mr. Beast use for his videos? They're called sky panels. Every single one is a $7,000 fixture. Das eine Licht kostet $7,000. Junge, mein ganzes Zimmer kostet nicht mal $7,000. People of lighting an entire warehouse on its own. <laughs> Honestly, that's like at least 10, 12 kilos. Probably. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Now, because Studio C is becoming the main office that everyone works out of, Studio A is the one where you find the most exotic items. I'm talking like a mini drivable Lamborghini, giant fake marshmallows from when they tried to recreate Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, and then tubs upon tubs of costumes that they used in their recreation of the Squid Games. So this is the gaming trailer. Oh yeah, iPhone or Android? I'm iPhone, I guess. 7000 Dollar verdiene ich in einem Jahr nicht mal. Ja, okay, ja, kann ich vertreiben nicht. This cabin, which is a part of Studio A, is where the entirety of the Mr. Beast gaming channel is filmed. And it's kind of nerd paradise. There's shelves upon shelves of wonderful and questionable tech items. There's a real ice cream machine. And there's Nerf guns everywhere. But then we go deeper inside. Items. There's a real... Oh, dieser Raum ist nice. Ich glaube, in diesem Raum würde ich mich wirklich wohlfühlen. Oh, ice cream machine. And there's Nerf guns everywhere. Das ist ein geiler Raum. Voila, das ist ein cooler Raum. Das ist, was ich gerade in der Zeit Ist das, was ich denke, es ist? Ja. Das ist der Retro Future. Der custom made original Game Boy. Wow, the Logo, the Sesame Seeds, the Pink Power Button. You can change the color on the screen. It has that authentic 8-bit that you can just... That is wild. Junge, das sieht auch fresh aus. You can't beat. Weirdly, that's one of the coolest pieces of tech I've seen so far. Here we have Jimmy's gaming room. The main idea with these setups is that they could sit down and then be good to go filming within. Wie viel kostet das eine Setup? Das interessiert mich jetzt. A minute or two. I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna rate Mr. Beast's gaming setup. <laughs> oh, good choice of chair. You can tell that the entire setup. Hey, das hab ich. Ich hab, ich hab etwas, was er auch hat. Warte, sieht man das? Hier. Flex, Jungs, chill. Mr. Beast, mach dir keine Sorgen. Mach dir, Junge, äh, hast du jetzt Angst bekommen, weil Papi Julo aufholt oder was? Beruhig dich. <laughs> Here is just geared around efficiency. They've got it to the point that with one tap of this button here, all lights can be turned on and off. And with a tap of this button, all the relevant programs that they need to film one of these gaming videos, they are loaded and ready in one go. They're including the software to be able to see your own camera view in real time. Der hat von dir kopiert, aber safe. Mouse is really smooth. This is the most responsive Windows experience I've ever had. The keyboard is a membrane keyboard, which is normally considered like a tier below, but you've done that for noise reasons. Yeah, intentionally. And so given that, it's actually, it's actually really nice to type on. It doesn't feel bad. The keys have nice travel. He's done a definite solid with this controller. This is my favorite looking Xbox controller ever. The chrome outlines around each button are nice. This is a very good choice of mic. I must have said that dude. Controller ever. The chrome outlines around each button are nice. This is a. That dude blobed all his feel to the fella so auch gefühlt standard Sachen. Er sagt so, das ist der allerkrasseste Controller, den ich jemals gesehen habe. Oh mein Gott, die Umhüllungen auf den Buttons zu krass. Das habe ich noch nie gesehen. Dieses Mikrofon. Oh mein Gott, dieses Mikrofon, ich habe es noch nie in meinem Leben gesehen. Wie hat er das ausgesucht? Ich verstehe es nicht, Mr. Beast. He sees that Mr. Beast uses 4 gaming with an i9 11900K, 32 gigs of RAM and an RTX 3090 graphics card. Hooked up to a 4K one. Ist das zum Beispiel krass, ja, oder? Ich kenne mich halt mit PCs echt nicht so heftig aus. Also ich werde vielleicht enttäuscht, aber mit PCs bin ich echt lost. 20 Hertz monitor. This whole setup would be around $15,000. Das ganze Setup kostet ungefähr for 15,000 dollar okay heftig it's not the crazy part because there isn't just one of them the entire room has actually been almost 100% cloned four times one for each of the cat 
was? Für jeden gibt es ein solches Setup. Diese Jungs, die mit dem befreundet waren, gell, die haben auch im Lotto Jackpot gewonnen, aber auf Halal Olsum Basis, ohne Dicks haram zu machen. Ich schwöre es, die haben alles bekommen. Actors in Jimmy's Videos, Chandler, Carl und Chris. They all have slightly different chairs and keyboards based on their preferences, but the core machines behind it are one-to-one. -one. So this is the storage this warehouse. This is the storage warehouse. I've been told this is the weirdest place of yes. them all. Yes, you need giant 40-inch touchscreen iPhones. Got those. Yeah, so as you can tell, I'm very heavily on the team iPhone. <laughs> so this giant iPhone, it's essentially a real iPhone 6s that... Was? Es geht an? ...casting its screen to an Apple TV box screwed into the back that's hooked up to a large TV screen. It sounds ridiculous, but it works. This is wild. It this is. is like the one part of it that I, w I wouldn't have thought actually works. Yeah. I could take a portrait mode. All right, let's do that. <laughs> Here, I got you. I got you. Yeah, I got okay. you. There we go. Heavy yeah. cool. <laughs> This storage center is just rammed with all the stuff that's been used in past videos that might need to be used in future videos. Literally, anything you can think of. Tiki torches, rubber chickens, an even bigger nano leaf light collection than we have, even a box full of shockingly realistic babies. Don't ask me why, it's here. Pretty much all the expensive yeah, okay, realist shocking realistic was baby it's nicht. stuff lies within here. As far as like phones to give away, it's always Apple. <laughs> I think you just broke our scale. Just a little bit, I'm sorry. <laughs> and to wrap up the studio tour, I wanted to show him something cool. So walk with me, boys. Oh, there's a plant there. We're doing a video where I put a guy inside of this red circle, see the outline around the house? And if he survives in there for 100 days straight, he wins half a million dollars. Was? Hey, this video, was er, was er gerade produziert? Wenn jemand 100 Tage lang in diesem Haus quasi überlebt, ohne es zu verlassen, kriegt er eine halbe Million Dollar. Okay, so we've seen Studio C, we've seen Studio A, we've seen Whatever this is, we've got the full price of all the tech inside, but what is the actual cost of the buildings themselves? Oh boy. The big studio over there was a little over $10 million. The old one actually was a church that we renovated. Whoa. That was like probably 1.3 million. So, okay, $11.3 million in buildings. Yeah. Plus even... everything else. I don't even want to know the total. <laughs> you know what? I just make the best videos possible and sometimes I have to spend money. Fuss. And if you enjoyed this video, then a sub to the channel would be... He told me to say beastly. But <laughs> wirklich, I bin schockiert. Wie viel war das am Ende jetzt? Über 13 million Dollar. Und das Ding ist, was ist die Challenge daran, in so einem freshen Haus zu bleiben? In so einem freshen Haus? Ich würde gerne. Viele andere Menschen würden gerne. Aber halbe Mille, Junge. Halbe Million. Ey, stellt euch vor, wie das ein abfucken würde, wenn man sieht, jemand kriegt die Chance dazu, dass er 100 Tage da drin bleiben muss und er verliert irgendwie. Also er gibt die Challenge auf oder so. Das wird mich so ab wenn dann dieses Video kommt. Wirklich, das stellt euch vor, was man für einen Knacks kriegt. 100 Tage ohne Familie, Konflikt, Kind. Wenn ich dann am Ende des Tages meiner Mutter 250.000 gebe, denkt sie sich, Helal Olson, der Schikulär. <lacht> sie küsst noch meinen Kopf und streichelt mich so. Sie sagt, gut, Junge, das ist ein Mann, sagt sie. Weißt du, was ich meine? So ein Ding ist das.